Well, it gets a little bit um, provocative, but it just definitely gets a little bit more uh, sexual. Wow! <laughs> Courtney! You're like getting, guys. So I'm not gonna say that you're gonna lose your virginity, but I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't nervous before, but now I am. Hi, Hi, I'm Shane. I'm yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shane. <laughs> Hi, I'm Courtney. It's been a while, guys. We're it's back here at the whiteboard. I wanted to check in with you guys. It's a new year. It's a new us. I mean, I got a new hair color. It's crazy. Wow. So we're really excited to be back on this set. Uh, this episode is going to be actually very special. I'm very excited. But first, let's talk about what we're doing with this new year. What do you mean? Yeah, doing? yeah. We got some. It's, it's you know, it's 2020. Zozo, uh, it's Zozo. It's Zozo time, guys. <laughs> it's around Valentine's Day right Getting now. There. Almost there, girls. Uh oh, you guys chocolates, there, flowers, buy them. Get those chocolates and flowers for yourself. I've done that before. Oh, I bought I <laughs> bought myself flowers this week. I bought myself some sunflowers, so I wanted to. Sunflowers. Yeah, sunflowers seem nice for myself. You know, because I was just like, we're just friends. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any like, is there anything this year like resolution wise? Oh yeah, wise big or? time bro. Big time, big time preparations for this year. Okay, so number one. Oh, bad start to the year guys, go. bad start to the year. Give me the cap, I need wow. the cap. Number one guys, health. I, <laughs> what? Stay alive. Stay alive, survive the year. It's gonna be harder than we think. So I wanna, you know, stay in shape. I had some crazy stuff happen last year. I also really need to go to the dentist. <laughs> Two, well, this one's a big one for me. I, last year, did a lot of self-care for me and me time and, and you know, spoiling myself and my skin routine. But like, now I'm going to be working on others and connecting with people. Oh, connecting. With other humans. Trying to upgrade your uh, Spectrum internet. I need, basically, <laughs> I just like really need the faster Mbps. <laughs> and what else, what else? I feel like I've told you, do you remember? I need a third one, what, do you, what else? Uh, I literally don't have it. Here, let's go to mine and then if you think about it. A third one here, take the cab and use Okay, one. okay. I have a couple. I'm gonna go with the, the small, minuscule ones first. Try, uh, okay, so it, I'm gonna write try new foods, but oh, I'm giving yeah. myself, I'm giving myself a rule this year where whenever I go to a restaurant, if I've been there before, I, I have to order something I've never had before. So, you know, even McDonald's, looks like I'm trying that fl filet of fish this time. <laughs> like I gotta try it. Two, um, Okay, so I'll go with my big one because I can't think of a second one. Uh, oh, 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 no, 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 no. I've already posted this. Uh, hopefully by this point on Instagram, I'm farther. But guys, I'm trying to do the splits this year. I am trying to do the splits. I, it's something I've always wanted to do because it's funny. You're telling me. So many jokes you can you're do. You're telling me Juju Mufu. Yes. So my big one, and I'm going to just do a drawing here. My big one is, is this. I'm going to... I'm gonna draw, this is my, this is a self, self uh, uh, portrait. Um, this is what my, my brain feels like a lot. Whoa. I'm trying to think less and I'm trying to, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think, I'm not kidding. I put a lot of pressure on myself. I can, you know, it's a crazy industry we work in. YouTube is nuts. I'm trying to clean this up a little bit, you know, just, just make some, some Erase space. Erase your memory. Just, yeah, I'm trying to uh, eternal sunshine of the spotless mind <laughs> myself so that I'm just like, it's just like that in there. <laughs> just like, <laughs> I'm just happy in there. That's my big goal, which is the opposite. My 2019 resolutions, I had like pa pages after pages of like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the ground running, I'm gonna grind, I'm gonna write this thing, I'm gonna write this thing, I'm gonna produce this. You and can, uh, I that. ended up doing none of it because uh, I put so much pressure on myself I couldn't move. That's real right there. Yeah. You weren't prepared for realness, were you? I remembered my number one one. That was my original number one, but now it's gotten moved to number three. Oh. And it was get the fuck off my phone. So I'm gonna put phone and then a circle around like this because it was that. And then in addition, I wanted to read more books. They're good, I've heard. Oh. Strong finish on the resolutions on my part. All right, ready? Oh. Now, none of this has anything to do with what we're doing today. Yeah, or, or with this uh, show series really is. Plot, plot twist. But we're about to actually get deeper into our psyches or, or just 
deeper into our, should I say, energies. And our then. timelines. We'll talk about our futures, right? Well, speaking of futures, Sarah Whittle, our producer and mom, thought it'd be a great idea to bring in literally a psychic, guys. I'm so excited. And we're gonna be told about our past, about our present, about our future, and focus a little bit on our dating lives. Ooh. We're gonna change the lights a little bit. We'll, we'll get the mood ready and we'll see you guys in a sec. Guys, literally, I'm serious. Welcome to the most crazy episode of this show yet. I'm just like, oh my God, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you've, been, you've been genuinely freaking out like this all day. I, uh, yeah, <laughs> Sarah has brought in, well, someone from our office who actually uses this person. This is Tommy Oakley. Yes. A psychic, and you, you mostly use- Norse runes. Norse runes. Yes. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing, well, I've been reading divination for most of my life, but professionally, probably uh, about 10 years now. So that's like, you're technically a master. Ooh, master of one, yeah. Okay. My Norse master runes, yeah. I got All my right. Norse runes down. I don't do anything else. There's oh other tools gosh. out there, but when it comes to divination, the runes are what really are the most accurate for, for me, and I feel like they give the most sound message for everybody. Oh, this is my first time doing anything no like this. If you have it in a question form, I can pretty much answer it for you. I do have a couple rules here on the table, though. No crossing on the table, okay? So your your hands, your eyes, your toes. It's amazing what, man, it's amazing what people cross, really, it is. Wow. <laughs> you should see what I see. Boobs are just uh, like... Dude, I'm like, I'll, I'll look down and I'll look up. I'm like, how did you even do this? <laughs> What's the reason for that? The reason for that, well, most of the time, people get the, uh, they're afraid of the initial answer to some of the biggest questions that they have. Mm. They're like, am I ever gonna find love? Wait, hold on, don't tell me. And they start doing yeah. some weird things with their arms and their eyes, and I'm yeah. like, all right, no crossing. You're all right. I'm oh, across. Here you go. I'm across. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me my <laughs> so I hear that you guys wanna see love lines, right? We're interested in our love life and basically where it's gonna go. I can give you past, present, and future in your love life, and it also comes with an advice card. Okay. The advice card is the most important card. Pay attention to it because it basically tells you what you're not, you're not hearing for yourself. The first thing I need to do is I need to connect with you. So I'm gonna look at you like a weirdo. Right here on the table, look at me, hardcore. Yep, there oh, she is. Oh, sorry, it happened, yeah, I'm sorry. It happens every now and then, I'm sure. Go ahead and give me your first and last name. Corpy Miller. Now I'm gonna have you tell me, say, show me my love line. Show me my love line. It's not bad, actually. Pretty good, I'm not what? gonna lie. No, it's pretty good, actually. It says that you're waiting for something. Oh. I know, right? That's good news, so that means you didn't pass anybody up, so don't okay. worry about that. You're waiting for partnership. You know, that could be for any reason. Normally, I'd ask you why, but when I get Yira, which is a perception of time and people, it's usually saying that people have disappointed you, all right? Mm -hmm. Constant disappointment, not necessarily on aesthetics, so that's the cool thing about you, is that you're not necessarily looking at this. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing you need to know about that. Well, it gets a little bit um, provocative, but it just definitely gets a little bit more uh, sexual. Wow! <laughs> a little what? more sexual. I'm gonna like getting, guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not gonna say that you're gonna lose your virginity, but I'm gonna. <laughs> 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 but I am gonna say that there is gonna there is gonna be a man that's gonna sweep you up and probably make you feel like you are starting all over again. I'm gonna go to your past. I don't stay here too long, all right? It's very suggestive to... to <laughs> Let's, like, you know. So in the past, I do see a breakup, but I see coming together of um, different parts of yourself. You're still learning about yourself, man, mm -hmm. all right? I gotta tell you that. It's saying that there's different attributes of yourself that you want to explore. This can go into uh, a new career field or maybe sexual orientation, right? Whoa. Yeah. So I recently came out as not straight in February. <laughs> that would definitely be it. You'll have connections, but you gotta make sure you explore your connections past orientation. Because you're gonna realize that people are people inside yeah. and they have a lot to give. And it's really cool that you actually think that way. All right, Thanks so this you. is your advice card. Oh my God, are you about to wreck me? I'm not about to wreck you, I'm about to smack you with some truth though. Okay, <laughs> All right. mildly wrecked. Nobody's perfect. And I understand that you're looking for the, the mind of the one that you wanna love, essentially the one that's gonna love you in the way that you need to be loved. It says that angels don't exist. Okay, I know you're looking for that angel to swoop you up and take you where you need to go. He's never gonna come. I'm just gonna tell you that. You have to show the angel who he is inside. And when you show him that he's an angel, then he can pick you up. Stop looking for this angel, okay? Because he doesn't really exist. Wow, that was heavy. 
I felt the, the like entire gravity of this room change. Going to your future. Oh God, here we go, time travel. Hey, your future's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Tiwa's come to you as, as the, the warrior, lioness in this sense. Here you go. Oh, I'm a kitty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I like, I like lioness, I like lioness. Cool, hey, um, your partner is definitely not here right now. So that's definitely gonna be the reason why you're not in the relationship. The blank rune comes up with Rytho on top, so it's movement. This man is pretty hard to catch because he is probably popular or something. Okay. There's your love life. That's everything? That's everything. Wow. <sighs> what did you think watching that? You're about to go through this. It's intense, man. I'm, I'm, I wasn't nervous before, but now I am. <laughs> Feel free to ask me any questions, anything that popped up during that. What happened? Well, I did, when, when you were first explaining, I did remember that one time in a, a transport at VidCon, there was a psychic that was sitting there in the car. She said it was gonna marry or be with someone in the industry. Let me check, stick out your hand. Boop. Yeah, um, I do see a partner coming from the industry, but it's mainly the person that's going to give you your first child. Whoa! What? Whoa! 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 Here it is. Wow, dude! I gotta go! Have child! <laughs> Yeah, how do I, how do I, how do I, how do I, I, mine's not gonna be better than that. All right, here we go, cool, so Willow, it's a good one, you're gonna have a really good reading here, okay? Go ahead and say, show me my love line. Show me my love line. Here it goes. You got a really good one, man, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Just Pokemon cards, so I'm like, where did those come from? You got like four Charizards, a bulb. <laughs> there you are. Go ahead and say your first, middle, and last name for me. Shane Robert Top. Shane Robert Top. All right, Shane. Where is home to you right now, uh, outside of Los Angeles? It would probably be Colorado. Colorado. Mm -hmm. you, did you go there for the holidays? Yes. You did? How mm -hmm. was it? It was pretty, really great. Yeah, you got a brother? I uh, have two. Two yeah. brothers. Yeah, you don't have any sisters, do you? No. No, just the brothers? What's your relationship like with your brothers? Uh, I think it's really good. Are they both married? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I'm wondering why Mr. Shane's not married then. Well, living in LA is crazy. Oh yeah. Uh, my job is crazy. Yeah. I don't have like, it's hard to plan for the future. Right. When I don't know what five years from now looks like. Mm -hmm. And it's impossible to like buy a house or yeah, anything. I get like, that. I'm like, I can't have a family when I live in a one bedroom apartment. Well, you said the word right there. When you go home to your family and you're with your brothers and you're with everybody else, you're like, okay, I'm home, okay, I'm home. I know my brother can hate me, hate my guts, but he'll always love me. Essentially, that's what you need for a love life. You need to be able to make mistakes and give forgiveness. Forgive your partner, okay? And it's not, that a fact, it's not the fact that love is hard to find here, it's family's hard to find, and that's what you look for now, okay? Gonna go to your past. Mm-hmm. Someone broke your heart, man. Bad, 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 bad. I don't want to talk about it too much because that one is a rough one, yo. All right? And I'm not going to say that um, things like this happen for a reason because you're going to find someone that you love. No, they suck, man. They suck so bad, right? Mm -hmm. But I got to make myself a liar. Yeah, they happen for a reason. <laughs> I'm going to go to your vice card, all right? This is something that you need to hear about your love life, okay? So please pay attention to everything I say, all right? Okay. <sighs> Uh, it's a lot. Oh no, buddy, <laughs> no, no, it's great. No. It's great. It's a lot in a good way. Like, a lot in a good way. Yeah. Like I, I'm someone, uh, actor, whatever. I like feeling stuff. Yeah, you're feeling yeah. away. I can tell. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're gonna definitely feel this one because this is um, a pretty good advice card. It comes with gift bow, and gift bow is all about balance, generosity, and sacrifice. This already shows me that either you need someone to sacrifice for you, or you need a sacrifice for somebody. I wonder what. Whoa. It's both. Makes sense, right? Gifbo to Gifbo. Gifbo is all about giving and, and making balance. You are all about imbalance right now, man. Every single time you wanna make a love come to you, either you're not enough for them or they're not enough for you. One or the other, sorry. Find joy again in a partner. If you're not getting that joy from them or if they're not getting that joy from you, none of you guys should force it. Instead, say, hey, I respect you and I respect everything that I got from this spirit. It's time for me to go now, okay? Wow. You can do that, right? Ooh. Yeah. Here's your future. Need. This card and this rune are pretty cool. The reason being is because, remember I told you about this wall? If you look at the rune of need, the rune of need is a wall. 
but it has a break through it. It means you did exactly what you needed to do to break down your wall for you to find love. So something that was said here opened you up. Manaz comes to you, but Manaz is inverted, all right? That's a good thing, all right? Okay. That means you're cutting out people that no longer serve you. I see it. I see you protecting yourself from the people that did hurt you. But at the same time, do not protect yourself from the people that are trying to help you because you will find love in them. Okay. All right, man. There you go. <sighs> wow. This is just heavy. Like it's it's it is, it's right? great, but it's uh, I was kind of like okay, like you know I didn't know what to expect. I've never I don't know anything about Norse runes, but that was a lot more than I was expecting. Most people, yeah, they think. Yeah. That. Oh <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah, dude, what a trip, right? Yeah, dude. I feel like it just worked out. Okay. <laughs> and now we're gonna read you. So. <laughs> What you got, Shane? I'm sorry, but the only thing I can think about now is the fear of getting pregnant. I'm like, what? Well, where Thank can you. the viewers find you? Yeah. Um, well, you can always find me at the Green Man store. I'm currently working there as one of their Norse rune readers. Well, the Norse rune reader. So. The, not the, A. The, not A. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Seriously. Thanks. Oh you my god. You guys are welcome. You guys are welcome. Yes, right? Was Wasn't that crazy? Yeah. Everybody behind the camera were like, oh. Well, guys, I think this is my favorite video we've done yet. But we have other videos as well, um, specifically this one from YouTube that they have selected for you. And then we have personally selected this other one for you over here. And if you guys have ever seen a psychic or a card reader, please put your stories in the comments below how you feel. Are there skeptics out there? Let us know. Yeah. I am, I, I'm a believer, I gotta say, dude. Ooh, 